Today we will be looking at the time-lapse recorder docker in Krita and how it works. The docker can be found in settings, dockers, recorder. This first line is to set where all the individual frames will be saved. You can change the capture interval here, from doing a screenshot every one second, or whatever you choose. Set whether you want your frames to be saved as JPEG or PNG. Choose quality. Choose resolution here, original full file size or half and quarter. Tick the record automatically box if you want it to record what you're doing every time you draw on the canvas. Handy if you may forget to press record each time you continue a drawing. Otherwise, manually start recording with the record button. Do your drawing. Export your time-lapse video from the export button in the docker. Note, using file render animation is for animations only, not the time-lapse function. Here you can choose how fast you want the frames to play. The higher number here, the faster the video will be. The preview for end and beginning is how long you want the finished picture to show before and after the time-lapse animation plays. You still need FFmpeg to export the video, just like with animations. If you already have it installed, it will show here. Choose the folder to save your video export. Press export. This is the export which plays at 30 frames a second. See how quickly it flies by. This may be fine for a long process, but for this very short video, it's too fast. I can export again and choose it to show only 2 frames a second. There, much slower. Thanks for watching.